Hey y'all, Erica here, back again for some single mom complaining. Straight up. You know, I sit here in this house that I pay all the bills for by myself, and I do what I know is the good thing to be done. You know, I make sure that I'm cooking food for the kids, I try to give them enough fun, you know, stuff to do, entertainment, basketball, whatever, you know, whatever we can possibly do for them to enjoy their life and have fun. And in the meantime, it's like I'm dying inside because I didn't want to do this alone. I wanted a husband, a lover to be there with me cooking dinner together in the kitchen, putting his arms around me, hugging me, and when we eat dinner, to be eating dinner together instead of, you know, most of the time the kids just want to go outside or go off. It's like, you know, we don't really sit there. There's no family. It's like, wow, I just cook this food and then I get to stare alone and eat alone and basically do everything alone and it's like the kids idolize their dads thinking that they are just the best guys in the whole world because they pick them up and go have so much fun and it's like the fact of the matter is these guys are not good guys um, because good guys don't abuse women. Good guys don't hurt the mother of their children, right? So it's just, it's always like I sit there quietly and just being dumbfounded, you know, sitting there quietly being, hmm, if you only knew, you know, and it's like, quite frankly, these kids need fucking smacked sometimes, the, the rude shit they say to me. Like, and it always has something to do with something that this would not be an issue if there was a fucking man in the house. Like, there's several windows in our house that don't have screens. And... I have asked several times for people, hey, can you come and help put screens? Like, we'd like some fresh air. We'd like to open windows without flies coming in. And it's like, oh, no, that's not my problem. That's not my problem, you know, okay? Well, I guess it'll just be my problem, little old me. I guess it'll just be my motherfucking problem then. And, you know, no, I don't have, um expendable resources and income to be paying housing contractors to be doing professional work that a fucking husband or boyfriend should just be doing. Like, no, I don't have that resource there. Remember, I'm a single mom. So, I'll be sitting here like, and then, the, then, then, then it's just me, like, they'll be throwing a complete fit like god you're so stupid or whatever else or I'll be like hey help me open this window like the, some of them the, the ones that do have screens they are really hard to open and they are you know they're really hard to open I'm about 110 pounds okay and I have done a lot, a lot, a lot of work to repair my hernia. Um, so technically I really shouldn't be about that lift and heavy things life. And quite frankly, like I don't feel that I should have to ruin my body and the work that I've put in on it to repair it um, by like doing these like heavy lifting activities, right? So I'll be like, hey, let's let's all help and like we all just kind of like get under up under it and like push it up. I'm like, hey, let's do this, you know, and then, oh, you're so stupid. You can't do anything. And it's like, 
oh my god like two of these kids they are like buck they're freaking strong they're stocky whatever you want to call it muscular and I see them lifting stuff I see them playing with their friends like lifting heavy shit like let me pick up a bicycle and let me bring it over here. Oh, they're picking up picnic tables in their friend's backyard and dragging them to the other friend's backyard. Like, I know they're capable of helping push, but it's just the fact that I'm, like, asking them to do it, that they're very angry about it. And I think a lot of this comes from because they're witnessing their mother actively asking for help and everyone saying, that's not my fucking problem. And I don't deserve to be treated like that. I am a sweet girl and I just wanted to be treated good. Like I was never asking for too much ever. I had never been. In fact, I was probably setting the bar so low at the bare minimum that it's like almost just, it just disgusts me that people can't even attain that bare minimum. It's like, wow like this is all stuff that seems perfectly normal and of course I see all my neighbors like you know we live in a, a nicer neighborhood so I'm the only single mom on the block it's quite obvious that you can tell which house is mine um, and for any haters that want to say oh you should just start watching YouTube and fixing your own. No, I'm not. I'm not. I have a vehicle that I love. It's been sitting in my garage for almost four years now. And it was supposed to be a fun thing for me. It was supposed to be something fun for when I didn't have the kids. Um, and I haven't got to enjoy that. But no, I'm not a mechanic. I am not gonna go and fix that car. That that was supposed to be um, something for me to do with like a lover. And there's just so many things like, and it's like, I'm not complaining necessarily about certain stuff that isn't done because it's like stuff that I wouldn't want done by having to pay for someone. Like, that's not how I want things. Like. I don't want, it, the, the whole thing is I'm valuing connection over the end result. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure, maybe my walls to standards of, you know, society, whatever. Yeah, my walls should probably be painted. But honestly, I don't really care because... It's just walls and it's like, yeah, I would love the experience of someone who is my partner, is my lover, to go to the paint store together, pick out paint together, um, do it either together or like me watching him and make it like a thing and make it like, wow, we're putting love energy into these walls. This is a home. It's our home. And we're making it exactly how we both love, you know? No, I'm not going to pay some random jack off to come and paint for me. Like, fuck that. Like, the shit can just stay unpainted for all I care. Like, I'm real big on if something isn't meaningful, I don't need it, you know? And I think being self-sufficient... It kind of, well, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm all the way self-sufficient, but, like, I can afford to buy myself dinner. So, I'm not out here, like, um, picking and choosing just any random idiot that's like, oh, hey, let me go take you out to dinner. Like, if I don't like someone like that, I'm not going to continue, you know, to talk, first of all. I, 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 go, I go to restaurants and sit alone a lot of the time. What I don't like to do is go to a bar 
and sit alone. And if I go to a bar and I'm being ignored by the men in there, I will literally walk the fuck out and discontinue because I just think that's like a place where women go if they do want attention um, and to maybe be social with a man. Um, that's like a place to go do that at. So I will not sit in a bar if I'm getting ignored or if there's just no one there that I don't, that I wouldn't even want to talk to. I won't stay there. But like a dinner time type thing, you know, it's whatever. I have to eat. I got to feed this divine vessel, right? And... I want good, decent food, and I don't want to have to sit there and cook my own food three meals a day and then stare at the walls in my house to eat the food. So, yeah, I will go. And it does feel a little awkward, and I do look around, and I say, hmm, like, wow, these people have a family. Oh, wow, this is a loving couple, you know, and I want to say, hey, this is, you know, available to me, too. If I can witness something in my um, surroundings, then it's available for me too. I got several people hitting me up on Snapchat as I even speak, but it's like, no one's saying anything. No one's saying anything. Oh, what are you doing? Like nothing. No one is saying, Hey, let's go do this. Like I'm on a couple dating sites, you know, and uh, it's whatever, but I will tell you this, the man that I want He's got me blocked. I don't know even for what fucking reason. Um, I honestly, I was good to him. Everybody knows I was good to him. He's the one that wanted me first. I don't know. Hopefully he's going to fucking catch on here soon. Like, hey, you have a total baddie love angel who fucking wants you. Like, come on, yo. But... You know, it's just weird. It's just like this whole fucking spiritual healing, this whole trauma healing thing I've been involved in. I've been very dedicated to this. And why I was dedicated to it was always because I had wanted to clear whatever's in the path, clear whatever's standing in the way from me having these experiences and I just it's like the end of July now and I'm sitting here thinking wow not one beach date not one outdoor dinner date not one walking hand in hand with a cute guy kissing while watching the sunset date. And, you know, if I'm the problem, I've been working to try to make myself not the problem. I, I don't see how I'm the problem. Um, I see other people receiving the type of treatment that I wish to receive. And I keep telling myself it's possible for me too. I see them doing this. It's possible for me too. You know? And just coming back around to the whole single mom thing. I feel like the years that I could have dedicated to um, either growing a career or cultivating important relationships, those years were spent drowning under childcare and laundry and doing all that by myself. And now that the kids are older and want to go off with these dads that they feel are so amazing, I'm kind of just left with nothing and no one. And it's like, okay, what do I do? Like, what the fuck do I even do? So, yeah, I don't know. I haven't figured that one out yet. Um, I mean, I just, I am striving daily 
for self-improvement, like I take several classes. I, you know, I own two businesses. Um, you know, I have a lot of online friends that I can chat with and stuff, but honestly, I just don't have anyone in real life. If I did, I would literally be like sharing cute kissy videos. I'd be wanting us in matching outfits, doing photo shoots. Like this is all stuff that I would want to participate in. And I just, I just don't, you know, it's kind of like, um, it's like going to Hawaii. Like, would I love to go? Fuck yes. But I don't want to go by myself. I want to go with somebody who loves me. I want to go with a lover. I want to go experience romance and bliss and like amazing sex and like looking at each other's eyes while we like drink out of our pineapples and holding hands walking through the beach. And you know, I just, I want to experience something beautiful from being on this earth and so far it's been trauma 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 neglect 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 abuse 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 rejection 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 um and it's like okay i'm clearing all this out i'm getting rid of all this like the pain from just that kind of an existence and it's like no one gets it I have no one to relate to anything, and that's why I'm making a video, obviously, because I don't have anyone to talk to, but it's just getting ridiculous as fuck, and I know that my parenting hasn't been the problem because my two um, older sons have girlfriends. They treat their girlfriends like fucking gold. They have healthy relationships that the one's been in the relationship now almost four years. It's the type of loyalty that I give. Like he's got this heart like I have where he just, you love someone, you love them with every fucking ounce of your being so deeply. And so that's how I love. And it's like, so rare when I do fall that way in love with someone it is so so deep to me and it's like I just have never experienced the reciprocation of that back and I guess that's what hurts um or I mean I'm not even hurt by it anymore I mean I guess maybe a little since I'm mentioning it but I'm just saying you know it's just bullshit because it's like for these kids to talk their bullshit to me and be so fucking disrespectful and for me to have no one to stick up for me and then for me to be forced to stick up for myself, it takes me out of my whole thing that I've been doing is I don't want to be in my masculine energy. They keep saying that like when you're a single mom, you're too much masculine energy because you have to do everything. You're always trying to be the organizer, be the boss, and that like really 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 pushes guys away. So I've been working very much so at you know, being more true to myself, being my feminine flow, um just being the woman and not worrying if there's no man just being the woman anyways not allowing my circumstances to take me out of my true nature because by true nature I am feminine and I want to be exalted and treated as a feminine and having to rise up to dominance rise up to um, correct and and stick up for myself to these kids like it's taking away from everything that I'm trying to to not be you know and it was like for many years I had to just do it all by myself so it's like I didn't get to just be that sweet cherished girl that I want to be like 
to this day, no, I don't want to be in this fucking driver's seat. I don't want to be in the driver's seat. I want my man to drive me. I want to be in the passenger seat looking out the window, just enjoying the breeze and like my man handling shit. But like, where's that man at? Because the one I want, We're not even gonna get into talking shit about that. Cause I'm not gonna speak it. I'm not gonna speak a negative affirmation about that. I'm gonna say the one I want wants me to. The one meant for me is connected to me. The one meant for me is stepping up to be amazing for me. But yeah. Fuck this stuff these kids are saying because it's completely fucking rude and that's my little spiel for the day. So yeah, being a single mom fucking sucks. <sighs> Period. And then they're going to get picked up today. They're going to get picked up and it's like, oh, this is the time I should be going to do something enjoyable for myself. But what? But what? You know? Go do something alone? No, I don't want to do something alone. I want to be loved up. I want to be laid up with my fucking boyfriend. You know? I want to go hold hands and walk through the park with my boyfriend. I want to go get some food with my boyfriend. Like, not just do this alone. Yeah. But yep. Cool. Got nothing more to say.